My name is Dirk Pfeiffer. I'm Professor of Veterinary Epidemiology at the Royal Veterinary College and I'm also course director of the Masters in Veterinary Epidemiology and the Masters in Veterinary Epidemiology and Public Health by Distance Learning. I would like to talk about some examples of um, epidemic diseases caused by viruses and in particular about um, bird flu and swine flu. Bird flu actually was first reported in about 2003 and this was in Southeast Asia where there were quite large outbreaks in poultry populations and uh, millions of chickens and uh, ducks were culled in order to deal with the disease but, and there also were quite a large number of um, fatalities in humans uh, which there resulted in quite big concern around the world where this might actually then uh, become a global epidemic. Um, the, the virus originally only occurred in Southeast Asia and then over the next uh, following years in 2004, 2005, 2006 it did also occur in uh, Europe actually which resulted in some quite, I mean the, the, the public was really worried actually at the time and it was not clear how the virus actually came across uh, from Southeast Asia and the um, hypotheses were that it might be related to movement of wild birds. We don't really know how the disease actually spread. We have various hypotheses and um, in, the, in the first, um, during the start of the epidemic, it was thought that it was primarily through the movement of wild birds. But more recently we have concluded that also the uh, movement of poultry or the trade in poultry and whether that is legal or illegal might have played a role. Um, while we were all trying to um, control bird flu and were conducting intensive surveillance and spent a lot of money in Southeast Asia and in Asia to control the disease, suddenly in early 2009 we had uh, human cases of a virus that was called swine flu. And uh, since that original occurrence, which was in uh, whatever, I mean, about March, April um, 2009, the virus spread very, very quickly over the next couple of months around the world. And the interesting thing about that in comparison with um, bird flu is that this virus, because it was very effective at transmitting from human to human, could spread much more rapidly than bird flu was ever able to uh, spread around the globe. I mean, with swine flu really re resulted in, and, and I have to be, we have to keep in mind that actually the disease, while it spread quite quickly from human to human and, and between countries, it actually didn't cause um, a lot of human fatalities. So relatively few, there were some, but, and of course that, that is a sad uh, um, uh, situation, but nevertheless though, it didn't cause the kind of um, mortality that people had expected from a flu pandemic. And, uh, it uh, was there, for, I mean, but still people made, there were predictions were being made about something might be happening towards the flu season in the autumn of 2009 and most countries in the world that could afford it started to stockpile um, uh, antiviral treatments and also vaccines once they became available. The, the occurrence of both of those diseases reminded us that we need to keep an open mind while as a, as we were too focused in a way on bird flu and at the time forgot about other viruses, other influenza viruses out there. It demonstrated though that our surveillance system is actually quite good because we picked up the um, swine flu relatively early in uh, Mexico and were able to track it. But it also showed that we were not able to stop it from spreading. If students want to learn how to um, contribute to effectively controlling such disease outbreaks in different production systems around the world, the MSc Veterinary Epidemiology and Public Health is a very good way of doing that.